Most anglers have got crankbaits in their tackle selection, but believe it or not, a crankbait, especially a deep diving crankbait, is probably one of the most underutilized or misunderstood lures that we own. The first problem that often happens with a crankbait is we don't throw it past our intended target to make sure we take into account that dive plane. Now, if you're using square bills and pitching them to very visible cover like a lay down, that's a different situation. But if you're using deep divers and working a point, working ledges, really throwing it more in that open water type of a situation, we've really got to take into consideration how long it takes that lure to get down to depth. So we want to throw way past the target. The amount of time that that lure is actually in the zone and working for us isn't as much as we think that it is. The next thing that we really need to make sure that we do is keep that lure digging and deflecting as often as we can. I know when I first started crankbait fishing, I was nervous to get that lure to the bottom. I didn't want to lose it. They can be extremely expensive. Expensive. But when it is not hitting something, the lure loses a lot of that fish catching power. If you're not digging and deflecting, then make sure that you reel that lure with a good start stop erratic type of emotion to still give it that underwater appearance of being random. That is why crankbait manufacturers offer a series of lures so anglers can adjust as needed. And the next thing that we really need to consider with crankbait fishing is body design. I remember one time on Table Rock Lake that I was in the front of the boat, my co-angler was in the back, I was getting zero bites on a deep diver and he was throwing a different deep diver to the exact same spot and absolutely getting hammered. Well, I took the time to switch lures and put on on a lure that has a different wobble to it and all of a sudden I caught a limit very quickly. Who knows why on a particular day that the bass wants one style of, of deep diver over another one, but if you're not getting bit, take the time to change, to put on one from a different manufacturer, one that's got a different body design to it. That vibration signature and wobble can make a huge difference from day to day or sometimes within the same day. The next one is we have to trust that the design of a crankbait is going to keep it snag free. When I first started fishing deep divers, I never threw them as deep as I needed to and I would always avoid anything that might get them stuck. They cost a lot of money. But the more that I matured as an angler and realized that that bill is designed to keep those treble hooks clear, well, if you start to feel that lure come into some brush or into a lay down, if you slow it down and then crawl it through that cover and really let that bill dig and deflect, odds are you're going to pull it through there without getting hung up. And so many times crawling through wood, crawling through a little bit of brush, the lure has that very erratic action and snaps over a limb and that is what triggers those reaction strikes. And the next thing I really want to make sure that we cover when it comes to crankbait fishing is rod selection is so critically important. A true crankbait rod that has a very parabolic action is going to help you land so many more fish. A lot of them on the market are a composite rod and those treble hooks, we need to think about them. I like to think about them more as a grabbing hook as opposed to a penetrating hook like a single hook lure or something like a jig. And it is easy as an angler to rip that crankbait right out of the mouth of the fish. Well, a good crankbait rod is going to keep that flex and that give and take needed to land those bass, especially bigger bass. And as far as your drag system goes, make sure you back it off a little bit when it comes to crankbait fishing. I have learned some hard lessons by losing fish over the years because I've had my drag on my crankbait reels too tight when that fish would dive and run they would just pull right off and one of the best things that a crankbait does is find bass and if you want to watch a video that talks about finding that spot within the spot that's so critical to adding numbers to your catch go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life 
for the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.